Here I am on a balmy, sunny, warm and glorious afternoon in Glasgow for the first time ever in Glasgow and for the first time ever in a Citizen M hotel, which is very functional, but has everything you could possibly need, including mood lighting controlled via an iPad, TV controlled via an iPad, etc. It's very, very high tech. I love it. I love all the gadgets, but that's not what I'm here to talk to you about today. What I want to talk to you about today is why I'm here and one particular thing I'm going to be speaking about tomorrow at the event I'm here for. I'm here to take part in the One City event organised by the City of Glasgow College. And this is a massive event taking place tomorrow on the 11th of June 2015, where lots and lots of speakers, workshop leaders, etc. will be coming together and college students, college staff and external stakeholders can all come along for free and dip into all the different workshops that they want to do. And I'm running two sessions that have been fully subscribed, I'm glad to say. One is a Recipe for Happiness keynote where I will be outlining the principles of happiness and why it's important and how we can work on our happiness. And then I'll be running a happiness masterclass with a laughter yoga workshop incorporated into it. Now, the reason I want to talk to you specifically is because I do feel exceptionally lucky. I talk about this a lot. I feel very lucky in terms of how things have always gone with my daughters. I feel very lucky to have the love of my life in, in my life and to have wonderful friends and family around me. And today I feel particularly lucky because I've come up to Glasgow and after we've had really bad weather, we now have glorious weather and it's warm and sunny and what a way to see the city. And tomorrow afternoon, after I've spoken, I'll hopefully get a little bit of time to do some sightseeing. I'm particularly lucky because I get to do what I love for a living. I get to tell people about my passion and I get paid to do that. That's the best thing you can possibly do, to do what you love. So is luck something that we create for ourselves or is it something that just happens to us? That's what I want to talk to you about and that's one of the things that I'm actually going to be talking about tomorrow at One City as well because there's some really interesting research by Professor Robert Wiseman, a British researcher who has written a book called The Luck Factor. And he is really interested in looking at what it is that makes people lucky. And he's actually come up with four key factors, but I won't go into all of those now. You can look that up yourselves. But what I want to talk to you about in particular is one experiment that Professor Wiseman carried out that I thought was really fascinating and so demonstrates how we make our own luck. He asked volunteers to come forward and the only qualifying criteria for those vol volunteers were that they had to be people who either considered themselves to be very unlucky or considered themselves to be very lucky. He then asked those people to look through a newspaper and count the number of photographs in that newspaper. Those people who considered themselves to be very lucky, some of them gave the answer within seconds. Whereas those that considered themselves to be unlucky took up to two minutes. Why is that? Well, the reason for that is simple. It's about chance opportunities and spotting them. Those people who consider themselves lucky spotted that on page two, in big, bold lettering, taking up half a page of the newspaper, it said, stop counting, there are 43 photographs in this newspaper. It got better than that. For a bit of fun, Professor Wiseman also put halfway through the newspaper a notice that said, stop counting, tell the researcher you have seen this and collect $250. Again, those people who considered themselves unlucky did not spot that notice and missed out on the opportunity to get that $250. Whereas those who considered themselves lucky saw it and therefore collected the $250. So what does that tell us? Well, it tells us that we need to be in the right frame of mind to spot opportunities. We need to be in the positive frame of mind. We need to look after ourselves so that we don't miss these really crucial opportunities in life, in business, in whatever situation we're in. Because that ultimately then determines how lucky or unlucky we are. Do we spot the opportunities that are right in front of our nose or do we miss them and walk by? Walk by? Think about that one, ponder it and think about putting yourself in the right frame of mind to be open 
to spotting opportunities. And part of that is to define yourself as a lucky person and you will find that more luck comes your way. I have been Frederica Roberts, the happiness speaker. Thank you very much for listening.